Welcome back to Jay Plays Any Games. This is Desktop Dungeons. If you notice, there's a change in my kingdom gold. That's because I've been uh, misclick deathing. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's been happening. It's been happening uh, way more than it should. But I haven't succeeded at anything, so that's fine. Uh, I just had a couple myth misclick deaths trying to do uh, second generation with the rogue. And that's what I'm going to be doing this episode. I'm going to do second generation with the rogue, and probably we're going to finish this dimensional dealings quest. So. Let's head over here, grab up our rogue, and we're going to be an orc rogue because that's a, uh, a really nice thing to be. And you'll note my fine sword is gone because of my stupid. Um, I'm also going to take this perseverance badge because it's a great item for the rogue. And bet on boss, why not? Now, we don't have faithless yet for this dungeon, and that's the only thing we don't have for this dungeon. So, it is definitely worth it to grab that up as soon as we can, summon summon and get our nice Faithless on. Faithless is the last badge that's not a secret badge. Ooh, is there a secret badge? There is a secret badge. One we don't know about yet. Well, I know about it. Some of you might know about it too. Actually, I know some of you know about it. So, what am I talking about? I'm just talking about myself. I'm talking about nothing. As I explore, kind of depressed about my misclick death theater that was going on here earlier. Um, I'm gonna go here. That's a bad place. This is an okay place. Summon, summon. Very good. Explore this way. Wanna fight as always is awesome. Let's see, she's got first strike. I hate all these people having first strike. There's sidestep though. Sidestep is the savior from this click death. And I can kill her now, because I do 13 damage. Which is pretty fantastic. Since I'm gonna be exploring anyway. There's a level 5 enemy, which is pretty nice. Um, I'd probably be able to kill him at level 2. Which I might be forced to do if I can't find any. Well, um, let's see, will this block me off if it goes either way? No. So I can summon that and summon him, so he gets out of my way. There's Earth Mother. I've done her. I played with her in a previous episode, which is good because I can't play with her now because I'm trying to get Faithless. Uh, do I have Sidestep active? I should. There's Sidestep. Yeah, I'm gonna have to wait on that. You? Can I kill you? No, a little bit too much damage. I haven't run across any damage bonuses yet. Which is the uh, handicap. Why haven't I killed you? I should just do that. Then sidestep. Come over here. Uh, I need a little bit more damage than I've got going on, I think. Yeah. He has 81 health. I need to be doing a bit more damage. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to get rid of one of fight kind of early. And look at this. It still takes four hits. I have to kill him when it only takes three hits, I think. Um, or maybe I can't kill him. Three hits is much, even for a sidestep. No, three hits is fine. Uh, let me keep exploring. I can't kill her. Well, I can kill her, but I can't kill her. There's a get in there. I'm just going to convert that. Can I kill you in three hits? Yes, I can. All right, let's think about this. How can I get three hits off? Well, my first hit will be absorbed by the sidestep. Can't cast sidestep again though. So I'd be kind of banking on what, a uh, a dodge? That's not reliable. So I would have to get enough health to actually survive a hit from him to do that. Unless I could kill him in two hits. Hmm, which I can't do. No, there's no way I'm going to get up to 40 damage anytime soon. So let's keep exploring. I could kill this guy just uh, to get close to leveling. Which might be an appropriate thing to do. Actually, since there's a level 6 here, that might be the perfect thing to do. So I can kill him. I can hit him. Like so. Then I can kill this guy. Level up. I'm level 3. I can cast Sidestep. And take another hit. Oh, but this guy's got First Strike. Which offers a serious problem. Because uh, you have to be at half health. So that that was dumb. That was a waste. I need to stop with the guesswork. Alright, let's continue on. I haven't wasted anything. Burnderaz would have made that possible. In fact, Burnderaz, I can kill him now. Um, most likely. Let's look. I can hit him once, down to 35. No. 45. Yeah, I can kill this guy, though. Because this guy doesn't have first strike. So hit, fireball, hit, win. Very nice. 
It's only a two level higher kill, not a three level higher. I was kind of going for the three level higher kill. Uh, I can hit this guy and get him out of my way. Don't normally want to kill things that are just above your level, but in this case I don't care. So, uh, yeah, even she's going to kill me. Sidestep, I can barely win this fight. Um, hmm. This guy, it's not a good target. I can only do 24 damage with the fireballs. Let's go ahead and kill her. Be level 4. And then I can kill him with fireballs. So, sidestep. Oh, there's a wait what, which would have also made that kill possible, I think. Um, in fact, it might make a much level higher kill, higher level kill possible. Let's look at her. So I can hit her. Ah, oh, she's got first strike. No, I'd have to sidestep twice to make it happen. Um, a five level higher kill, though, that's worth a mono potion. So let's try this. Five level higher kill. Um, I can get one hit thanks to sidestep. And I dodged, which just makes this way easier. This would have worked anyway, I promise. But hit, and then I will wait what for the slow and win. Five level higher kill, done. Titan Toppler achievement unlocked. So that's cool. Um, I'm just reaching for high kills because, like I said, I've been losing in this dungeon due to misclicks lately, and I, I'm embarrassed by it. Uh, I should sidestep just to prevent those misclicks from actually occurring pick up the health potion as I go. And is there anything here worth killing? I really should be going for level 7 or level 8. This guy, how much are the fireballs doing to him? Not enough. I hate blobs. I'm not going to regen fight anybody. So, a troll heart, not really worth it anymore. Too late of a find. 56 damage now. Yes, I could kill him, but no, I'm not going to. Um, let's find someone else. Jeez, blocked off at every turn. Uh, I... I do like how the exploration is done here. Alright, here's a 4 level higher kill, and I'll show you how I would have killed her. So I'm going to go up here, switch places with the man, get back up to full mana, which is a need. There we go. And I can hit him once, which is fine. Actually, yeah, this wouldn't have been how I did this with her, but because all I need to do here is two fireballs, and then I can win this fight. Level up, you know, normal... Three level higher kill, I suppose. Or was that four level higher? I don't know. I should keep better track of these things. Um, her? I don't like her. Sidestep. And look around a bit. Sidestep takes up so much mana to use. Jeez. What is with all this stuff in my way? That's the thing about Venture Cave. It's a bit closed off. Uh, I got an eight level higher guy that I can kill. So I'll do that. I'm going to switch places with him. Get up to 8 mana again. I can hit him once. Then switch places with him for that glorious kill. So I'm level 7. Uh, should be finding the boss soon. There he is. Please don't use magic, man. Not the best target for a rogue. But I'm going to use magic, so I don't care. Uh, fireballs don't have enough. I just need to get close to leveling up then and kind of figure this out. See, I can't even kill the level 8 version. I need to be doing this with sidestep on. But uh, what's in this? Bloody Sigil, not my thing. Let's see here. Let's just approach level... Because I've killed a lot of the higher level things already. I'm just going to try to approach on level, uh, level 8. Hit her fireballer. Do that little bit of exploration. Could do the same thing with this guy, probably. Uh, do I have sidestep? Yes, I do. Hit. Do a couple fireballs. I can win this fight. Go over here. Pendant of Mana. Pretty nice item, I suppose. Just uh, not the particular instance I want to use it. Extra health doesn't hurt me. But this guy does 75 damage, so I'm not going to be able to take a hit without sidestep. Um, and this guy, I can just kill. Oh, I don't have the mana. So I just go here. One fireball and I can still kill him. Always pay attention to how much mana you have before you do th silly things like that. Let's go down here. Um, Alright, there's a curse bearer. Just kill that. And a spoon, which adds to my damage pretty significantly, actually, because I have an 80% damage bonus going on. Uh, okay, we can grab up this money while we explore. 
And the Den of Danger is known today as a former prison outpost built. I think I've already read that. So, let's go up here. I'm pretty close to leveling up. And, you know, there's no reason to do my death protection now. So I'm going to get two fireballs going. I'm going to level up off of these people. Kill this Gorgon and this Meat Man. It'll be level 8 and I can get more fireballs going. Uh, I can get one hit off, which is fine. And now, you know, it's just a matter of fireballing this guy down. Which I may or may not be able to do directly. Looks like I cannot do it directly, so what do I have to do here? Level up again? Uh, probably possible. I just need to make sure I see the word win before I actually click, so I don't misclick anything. There we go. Kill all these little things. Win, win. This is going to be real embarrassing in a second. Uh, pendant of health, no. Huh. Can't kill that. All right, health potions. This is closer than it should be. I'm playing badly. All right, and I'm 33 of 40. How many times do I have to hit this meat man? Three. Ew. Um. Well, here's one, and I dodged. Thank goodness. And I can just level up off of him. All right. So that gives me a couple more fireballs, which is good, and now I can win the fight. Wow, that was closer than it should have been. I need to play better than I'm playing. Because, obviously, I made some mistakes there. But, you know, what happens, happens. I don't like the Tower of Goo as an enemy. And he's one of the worst things for a rogue to encounter, in my experience. Of course, I could be wrong. There are worse things. The Meat Men are pretty terrible, too. Uh, I have no reason to kill all this stuff. It doesn't give me anything. So, let's exit. Get my 435 gold. And I got Faithless, which is, I believe, the last badge on this dungeon. Task complete. Use death protection. Alright. Trophy sold. Sold the gooey mess. And taxidermist. What other tasks we got? Most piety spent. Get poisoned. I've got uh, eight more times with that, I guess. And purchase items. That's fine. Those will happen eventually. Let's go on an adventure. And we're going to be doing these dimensional dealings quests now. Um, by all shops in a dungeon. Well, maybe it can be in any dungeon, but I think it has to be in Venture Cave here. So we're going to select, we're going to be the thief, um, hmm, human thief, why not? And what we're going to choose here is black market. Black market gives you more gold, being the thief gives you more drops of gold. That ultimately just means happiness and joy for all of us. Perseverance badge is my favorite prep there. Let's play. All right, my entire purpose here is to buy up all the shops. So I see a shop, I'm going to buy. Uh, what's down here? Some gold. Excellent. That's that's a good start. Alright, you. I don't have first strike anymore, so I can't kill you yet. Uh, I need to find... Oh, there it is. Fireballs. And I would rather find a different enemy first. So we're going to look around for a little bit. Head down here. Want to fight, which is great. Wait, what? Which is also great. Um, actually, wait, what allows me to do this? And a little bit more exploration. Now I can't fireball them white what, unfortunately. So that's not going to work. But it was worth a thought. Um, whatever. Uh, I could, like I said, I can kill him, but I choose not to yet because I don't want to be mana burned for my next kill, which is going to be her, which I can just kill. So I didn't need to worry so much. Uh, let's get that going. How much life does he have? I mean, damage does he have? Whatever. Fireball. And kill. Perfect. Level up. Um, this guy. I can probably take him down, but I don't know. We're going to use fireball, and it's going to be a matter of region fighting if this is going to work out. Hit fireball. Win. Good. Uh, one level higher kills do happen. And we're going to head this way. Level 4. No, let's not take on level 4 at the moment. We're going to pick up this happy mana potion. Haven't actually run across many. 17... How much damage can I do? 16. Not quite 16. I might be able to kill this guy. Let's hit him once and fireball him once. Then explore sidestep would make this easier. Uh, we're going to explore again. How much damage does he do? 21. Uh, this might not be possible. No, it's not. Okay. With sidestep it is. So we're just going to cast sidestep and hit him twice. So hit and win. 
Perfect. And we can cast Sidestep again. Uh, I would like to get my Fireballs going. Kill this guy. He's the easier target. So, do I not have mana? Why did I do this if I don't have any mana? I'm a foolish fool. Do I not have reasons to do things in my life? Whatever. Uh, hit and a couple fireballs later. Oh, I didn't. I didn't click on him. Thankfully, I very closely did. Very, very nearly did. I mean, hit and fireball, and there's a win for us. Very nice. All right. Pick up that health potion. Travel down. There's another level four. Easy kill. I can hit him. Fireball him once. Explore up, and I can hit him again and finish him off. Very nice. And I kept my death protection, which is good. What's in this shop? Because I'm gonna have to buy it at some point. Uh, it's only 15 gold. That might be a problem, that might not be a problem. Alright. We're going to pick up this mana potion. What's in this shop? Spoon. That's an auto buy right now. Um, what's in this shop? Bloody Sigil. Not going to buy it yet. Uh, it's expensive. These things are all expensive. Alright, I'm actually going to do this real quick. What am I not using? I'm not using my wanna fight, even though I should be. Let's get rid of that. I'm going to go ahead and purchase this. And... Uh, Bloody Sigil, just going to get rid of that as well. And then I'm going to purchase this Pendant of Health. And I'll keep that for now. So, I'm level 4. There's a level 5 right here. There's a level 6 right here. I can kill the level 6. I'm going to. So, Fireball, Fire... Ooh, very nearly. But, uh, not quite. Now I can probably hit him again and Fireball him again. How much my Fireballs do? 16? No, that's not enough. How much damage does he do? 33. Let's get over 33. 49. Uh, I can hit him. Fireball him. Kill him. Perfect. Okay, I lost my sidestep doing that, but I don't feel too awful. So let's uh, sidestep up. Oh, I have to be a higher health. There we go, sidestep. Let's look at you. I can hit you twice. One fireball will let me do this. So, let's get this three level higher kill going. Uh, fireball, like that. And then hit and win. Awesome. Sidestep's a great glyph for doing that kind of thing. So, let's go over here. I'm a wall. Great glyph. I'm just going to convert it, though, because I want more damage. And get in there. Great glyph. Not going to convert that. Um, let's see. Well, in my mind, you replace... Wait, what, my uh, my get in there friend? Just in this case, anyway. Because I can sidestep and get in there, and that's a great combination. Can I take on this level 9 now? No, he's got first strike. How about this level 9? Four hits. I can only get three unfortunate. Wait, what could have actually dealt with him? I'm an idiot. Well, let's get that going. Uh, money. Money's awesome. As you can see, I'm getting a lot per. This Pendant of Mana, probably also awesome. Um, it would allow me to do some cool stuff. You, 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 you. I might be able to kill you. You leave me barely alive, though. I need five more health to take him on. So, not happening right now. Let's see. A level 8, though, I could definitely handle. What's, what is this? Depending on mana. I should purchase that at some point. And who's my boss? Ah, oh, lady with first strike. I don't like it. But I should be able to kill her. She's got death gaze 100%, but whatever. Uh, level 8 with first strike. I can take her down now. Uh, yes. So hit and win. Perfect. And that was... Pretty good. I'm one away from leveling up, which means I should be fighting things way out of my league and then uh, using one of these level ones hanging out to do the rest. I should sidestep before I do all this exploration. Okay, there we go. Oh, and this increases my max health. Alright, so this guy. Oh, just a tiny bit more health, actually. And I would be able to kill this guy without. Um, yeah, one more health. I haven't counted the number of boosters I've picked up, but probably worth it just to explore out the entire level for one more booster. I mean, it seems foolish. Oh, well, I'll just kill her instead. There we go. All right, very nice. I'm level six now, and he won't be a problem anymore. Uh, just cast sidestep and kill him. And I'm level seven. So she is not a real problem because of sidestep. Um, I can actually just kill her without the mid-fight level up as well, which is what I'm going to do. Click, click, and just hit her like this. 
She has mana burn, so I do need to get the thin fight level up going. I did not think about that. Um, I'll just use a potion. Whatever. So, I'll do it like that. And, uh, what was the plan? Fireballs? Probably. Fireball will kill her. Yeah, just like that. Fireball, win. And that's, a, that's an easy dungeon. I need to kill things off and explore and grab up all the money so I can buy all the stuff in everything. Uh, I'm going to pay special attention to see if there was another health booster laying around. Yep, there was, and that would have allowed me to get a much better kill earlier, but I didn't do it, so whatever. I wouldn't have found it for a long time. Badge of Honor I need to purchase. Um, needs means I need to convert things, so I'm going to convert this, this, and this, uh, and this, actually. Keep the Fine Sword, because I don't want to have to buy it later. Badge of Honor I'm going to purchase, and Pin of Mana I'm going to purchase, and... Can't quite purchase that, but there's more gold down here. Bang, bang, bang. All the gold in the world. And all these are pretty big gold stacks because of that. I know you're reading these. Stop it. I love that sign. Um, there we go. We're going to grab this and purchase. And that was just a health potion we purchased there. And that's good enough. Uh, any badges we can still get that we haven't. We've gotten Unstoppable already before. We can't get Horror Pete. Feeling parts. Okay, we can't get any of those badges anymore, so we're just gonna leave. Exit. Here we go. And 447 gold. Faithless, didn't worship any gods, so we did get a badge. That's good. And continue. Dimensional dealings, quest complete. Hey there, Bazar thinks that the consumer basing your kingdom has grown enough to warrant a market expansion. One little cash deposit, and you can enjoy more of our quality, dimension spanning, quality stuff. Stuff of quality. Dimensioning. The Kingdom Taxidermist approaches you wearing a slightly concerned look and a rather tasteful pair of shoes. Uh, Kingdom Administrator, do you have a moment? The figures on these monster heads don't look quite right. There's been a sudden drop in stock values across the board. I can't fully explain it, but the evidence so far points to someone aside from us providing monster trophies to the market. Nothing confirmed yet, but the trend is disconcerting. Disconcerting? Whatever. Everything sells good, right? So, Bazaar. Upgrade. Bazaar's bigger. You get a couple of perspirations from ba Bazaar. A, a shop scroll and an apothecary scroll. Uh, this summons a shop and this summons a potion shop. Which is pretty good. Alright guys. Thanks for watching.